Hey guys, this is HBK Grand making a video about the Burkatier's Wizard on the platform. So like right now he's on PC, PS4, Xbox, Switch, but he has brought different stuffs obviously. But this video only covers one mod and one mod only because I just want to talk about this. I've been holding it in. I've been waiting. Uh, like I don't want to say anything about this, but DE has done it this time, man, because we have been like, I don't know if you are a veteran player or not, because if you're a new player, you might not understand these points. But if you are new to the game, I would like you to take these things into consideration because um, that's how the game has been going so far. And it has been disappointing for a lot of those players who actually take the time to put in the effort and play the game because they love the game. And I, being one of them, actually used to like support the E so much. But uh, to be honest, like slowly it's being drifted away. And now they have literally done it. Why? Because of this one mod, the Prime Chamber. This mod is actually uh, there was a, like uh, an event and about a set numbers so some people say it's 150 some people say 100 some people say 50 there's like a different vary so I like there was never like a recorded number that this exact amount was released but only a certain amount of players actually had this mod uh, certain people that actually had it left the game so those were lost in a way if you want to call it few of these mods were given away uh, during the dev streams so but this mod still was one of the most expensive mods in the game actually the only expensive mod in the game the rest mods did not even come uh, in comparison to this mod why this mod varied from ranging between starting was I've seen it go minimum on PlayStation for like 18,000 platinum and it went all the way to like even 60, 70, 80,000 platinum. Like I've seen it go for 50K. There's even like a YouTube video, whether the guy rigged it or not, they did make the trade. But to be honest, like I've seen it go even on like Warframe.market, if you want to compare, if you want to go into like uh, PlayStation, like few years back, whatever. This mod was over 30, 40,000 platinum. Now, if for new players, they might be thinking like, oh my god, that's a huge amount that he's talking about. But this shit is real, people. And to make it available just publicly, that just defeats the purpose of the collector stuff or being a veteran or like all that uh, plat that somebody had to put in or buy in order to... Because I had friends actually who went in purchase like uh, I don't know 30 40 thousand platinum like almost like two grand three thousand dollars or something like that just to get this mod now they just like lost it so like they spend like and now everybody gets to have this free so this is my perspective as to why like he has gone and done it is that uh, things that we did as an event you would get rewards for it and nobody gets like ignis wraith and the ignis uh, armor set is one of the most uh, talked about uh, things as well that it was only available for the people who did that event and it was available in the clan dojo but then Burukatir started bringing it in so it defeated the purpose even though that did not cost anything like you could just get an ignis wraith bp for free i gave out like hundreds of them but it was that sense of achievement or the collection uh, addition or whatnot that gave you that purpose to play this game. But DE kind of like is taking that away from everybody. So even the new players that are coming in, they're being like shown like all this stuff. But uh, in the end, they have a lot of things to do. But once they start to get catch on, I've seen so many even new players like I when I was streaming, I had so many people and they would just come in and then leave. But now it's just come down to this that like such such an item like this is available for free of cost as well. Now I'm not saying like it's benefit for the new players and whatnot, but it's just that like it's unfair to those people who actually even got and paid. Now a lot of people might be differing like well it's their fault for buying enough stuff like that for this. But the thing is that like that's how you show support or that's how like uh, addicting this game was because at the end of the day if somebody had a prime chamber 
they would be like looked on as like the elite warframe players or whatnot type of thing but now like even that has been taken away like now i'm beginning to question like if i wait another year excalibur prime is coming to uh like it will be like oh burakatira has brought excalibur prime oh we're releasing an excalibur prime access so i don't know like he has promised it uh, they even said on multiple occasions prime chamber is never coming to uh stuff like this there were other sets like uh the ignis wraith and whatnot they're like it's gonna be only clan exclusive in the dojo so things have been like taking a turn uh i, I think it's for the worst honestly because i love this game this game is ahead of its time uh, the graphic wise the gameplay wise like any other game i play i compare to warframe because this game like outdoes all of them but stuff like this actually brings it down and i saw so many other like actually like we're not that big channel but i do play the game just as much as all the other big uh, youtubers do but for those veteran youtubers who are like the big times they even posted a lot of videos about like how disappointing uh it is that the direction that this game is taking and uh, all those promises are going like on falling on empty ears so to be honest uh, this is kind of like a big big letdown a lot of people will love it obviously but uh, as from a veteran's standpoint i think like this is a really poor execution of showing that uh, they do not value uh, the effort or like uh, the commitment that some people show to this game especially the veteran players now uh, I, it's not like one person uh, stops playing the game is going to matter or affect the game because there's a hundred thousand two hundred thousand people playing it but to be honest in the long run this does damage uh the gameplay like uh aspect of it for those people who actually love the game by heart now i've been playing this game on pc ps4 xbox and switch and then now if like you get something like this it just kind of turns uh really bad now i don't want to be negative about this whole thing but to be honest guys like uh my discord like f a couple of my f uh, friends from stream and everything like that they just started talking about it and i'm like what the hell is everybody talking about anyhow i just wanted to share my opinion with you guys i want you to know if you had the prime chamber before this and how do you feel about this right now and if you didn't have it before this well congratulations you just got one of the most expensive mods which is not so expensive anymore in the game and apart from that how do you feel about the game as well how is it turning do you think like it is worth playing because i was thinking of actually getting back to warframe spending some more money on it maybe i don't know access packs giveaways because i do a lot of giveaways if you're tuning in for the first time but to be honest the seeing things like this it just makes me want to cringe you know like and feel like you know come on uh you gotta actually bring up your a game stop like uh pretending to like do efforts and then like do stuff like this which does not make sense so i'm not trying to be like toxic about it i'm just stating the facts but uh, the only thing is that uh, my message to de from this video would be if they want to take it is that please the for god's sake like come on we love this game please don't make it so crappy like stuff like this makes veteran players especially leave the game and that's like one of the biggest talks like i always have when i stream warframe and uh, that like uh, veteran players are leaving this game and now like something like this oh my god this is just outrageous to be honest but thank you so much guys for watching this is hbk grand taking off for the day have a great one guys take it easy and good luck for your prime chamber farming because this is one heck of a mod too